it is Wednesday, August 16th. Um, it's the first day this week that it hasn't been dreary, completely dreary in the morning. Uh, it's actually pretty warm out already, so it looks like it's going to be a pretty hot day. The boys are all out in the tobacco field, um, farmer included, spearing up some tobacco that I cut down yesterday. And I'm in here uh, getting some stuff done around the house. But uh, I had promised some people that I would do a video on bottle calves and what bottle calves are and what we do with them. So I thought I'd take a few moments to do that. I'll take you a little bit around uh, and show you some of the different things that we do um, and where we have them and explain to you a little bit about what they are and um, where we get them from. So uh, hang on and here we go. All right, so these are our two bottle calves. There's 170 and 169. And we just picked them up here um, Sunday and Monday. So what they are are um, calves that that have come from a local dairy um, and of course the dairies only use the females because the females uh, produce the milk. So what happens is if a steer is born or a bull is born, um, they will sell it either at auction or to a designated um, buyer. So we have uh, several dairies here in the area that will uh, sell us calves rather than taking them down to the auction. We prefer to buy the calves um, directly from the dairy as opposed to buying them at auction. And this is because um, there's less disease when you get them straight from the dairy. So the dairy will keep them for a day, um, make sure they get some colostrum. If they don't get colostrum from the mom, they will give it to us and we'll feed it via bottle. Uh, to the calves. We do bottle feed all of our calves. I know some people bucket feed, um, but we hand bottle feed all of our calves. We feel that um, it gives us a better uh, chance to check them out, make sure they're doing okay on a day-to-day -day basis, keep a better eye on them. So these calves will be fed a bottle for um, approximately six weeks, and then we will wean them and uh, start feeding them grain. So along with bottle feeding, um, they are given the, a free choice of water um, and grain uh, once they're old enough, usually um, about a, a couple days old. Um, we do have chains over on the far um, gate in case we need to chain them while we're bottle feeding them. Um, sometimes with the newer calves, they don't want to come for their bottle right away. It takes a little bit to encourage them to eat. So um, if we can keep them still, it makes it easier for us. Now, a lot of you may recall, um, last year we did have them up in the hoop house. Uh, and we will be doing that again this year. This pen is just a temporary pen until it gets cooler outside. Um, the hoop house right now is, is really warm and we don't want them to have the heat, have to deal with the heat um, in addition to the other stresses of being just born. Now, there is an occasion that we may get a female calf, um, and that would happen if uh, there are twins born. If there are twins, um, and one is a bull, and one is a heifer, the heifer is definitely called, uh, is called a free martin. And what that means is that they will not be able to breed. Again, that would not be a benefit to the dairy, so they would get rid of that one rather than feed it. So that's the only time that we typically get a heifer calf in. These calves, um, as they grow, uh, we will castrate them and they will become steers. And then we will grow them to about uh, 12 to 1400 pounds um, until we can sell them for beef. These are not veal, they are beef calves. They will grow to be full grown before we sell them. So once we wean the calves um, at six weeks, we do uh, quarantine them off for a little bit um, just to make sure that they are growing on the feed that we are feeding them, the grain. 
um, and then they will get turned out with the rest of the, the calves. Um, now, some of these are our bottle calves. I think actually most of them are. Uh, some of them were mixed with Black Angus from the dairy because the dairy knew that they would not need them regardless as to whether they were a heifer or a steer. Um, and we were able to, to get a few heifers off of that as well. So just a little bit on how we, what bottle calves are and um, the, the different stages on them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.